now the first step is to turn on or turn off hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this open windows settings and then go to system go to display and then go to graphics and over here expand advanced graphics settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling is off turn it on and then you have to relaunch the game and then check if it is already on you can turn it off and then check for many users turning it on has worked so you can try this and then check still not working the next step is to if your computer has a high if your monitor has a high refresh rate you can lower down the refresh rate to 120 hertz now this has also worked for many players so it might work for you now the next step is to disable g-sync in nvidia control panel so you can go to desktop make a right click on the desktop and then go to show more option and then open nvidia control panel and once you open nvidia control panel uh, you will see uh, you can go to G-Sync and over here you can disable the G-Sync. Now the next step is to use NVIDIA optimization for Borderlands 4. Now for this you, you can open NVIDIA app and then uh, you can go to graphics over here and then select Borderlands 4 over here. And if you see optimize option over here, in my case I am facing some problem. So if you see optimize option, hit optimize and then check. If it is already optimized, in that case, you can just revert the optimization and then check. Try launching the game from NVIDIA app. So you can, from the NVIDIA app, you can just hit play, try launching the game from here and then check. If that does not work, uh, the next step is to restore NVIDIA 3D settings in NVIDIA control panel. So go make a right click on NVIDIA on the desktop and then click on NVIDIA control panel and then manage 3d settings global settings over here you can see restore option hit restore click on yes and once this is done now relaunch the game at the end of each step try to relaunch the game and then check still not working close all the third party application uh, so if you have any other application running which you are not using disc uh, you just close it so make sure only the steam and the game is running rest close everything and then check including your browsers especially the Chrome browser. Uh, for many users, closing the Chrome browser has worked, so you can try this. Next step is to try Power Saver mode. Now, for this, type in Control Panel in Windows search box and then click on Control Panel. Go to Hardware and Sound. Go to Power Options. Uh, you can try Power Saver over here. So, you might see Power Saver like this. You can select Power Saver and then relaunch the game. And for many users, even selecting balanced has worked. So, first of all, try Power Saver. If that does not work, you can even switch to balanced and then you can relaunch the game and then check next is to install intel extreme tuning utility application so if you already have it installed you can launch it if you don't have it installed uh, you can just install it from the intel website now once you install it you can launch once you launch intel extreme tuning utility now you can lower down performance score ratio so if this is set to 55 57 uh, you can lower it down to maybe 54 53 or 52 x and then hit apply at the bottom make sure that you hit apply and then you can launch the game next step is to but when you after you lower down the performance score ratio make sure that you restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to set shader cache size to 10 or maybe 100 gigabyte so you can open nvidia app on your computer nvidia app Now, once you open NVIDIA app, now you can go to graphics over here. Select the game over here at the top right, uh, top left, you can see global settings. Go to global settings. And over here, you can see shader cache size. Now, from driver default, you can set it to 10 gigabyte. Now, you have to relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even switch to 100 gigabyte and then check. Then you have to relaunch the game once again. Now, still not working, you can revert back. So, you can just set it to driver default follow the next step now the next step is to roll back graphics card driver if the latest graphic card driver is not working uh, then you can go to nvidia website uh, and then you can select your graphic card from the list once you select your graphic card select your operating system and then click on find and on this page uh, you can scroll down and then click on view more version now 
for many players this has worked uh, version that is 580.97 or maybe 577 so you can try 580.97 GeForce game read driver you can click on view and then you can download once the download is complete you can run the exe file and then you can click on agree and continue select custom option then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then once it is done restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell if you have lenovo whichever brand you have go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios Next step is to set upscale method to like set the upscaling to TSR or you can even try window mode. Now for this you can open file explorer, go to documents over here, open my games and then open the game folder, saved, config, windows, open this game user settings and over here you will see upscale. Scroll down here you can see upscaling method right now it is set to dlss so you can just type in tsr over here and and then once you select tsr uh, you can even try window mode so you can, here you can see full screen mode uh, is set to zero you can just type in number two over here and then click on file and then click on save now you can relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to disable overlay on discord so if you have discord running so go to discord go to discord settings and over here you can see game overlay if these are on you can turn this off and then you can check and close the discord application quit and do the same thing in nvidia app so if you have nvidia app running open nvidia app uh, and then go to settings and turn off this nvidia overlay over here if this is on turn it off and then close nvidia app also close uh, any other over overlay application close all the overlay application and then check disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn this off and then check next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this you can go to steam uh, make a right click on the game manage browse local files and then over here make a right click click on run as administrator and then check if that does not work open oak game binaries win 64 and then make a right click click on run as administrator or make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work this time you can go to this tab put a check on run this program over here and then select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok you have to relaunch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security go to windows security click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file and then click on open again click on add and allowed app browse our apps and then open the old game folder binaries folder win64 select the game exe file click on open do the same thing if you have any third party antivirus now the next step is to link steam account to Swift accounts now for this you can go to borderland website so you can click on borderland go to the official website and then at the top right click on these three horizontal lines and then you can click on shift and then you can log in so if you have the game on steam you can click on steam icon over here or epic games and then log in click on sign in you can sign in with your steam account and then you can link it and then you can go to gaming platforms and here you can see steam is linked now you can launch the game and then check next step is to update steam now for this go to steam go to steam over here and then click on 
check steam client updates and then you can once updated check still not working if you have windows 11 n edition like if you are using n edition of windows then you can install media feature pack now for this you can open settings and then go to system and then find optional feature so here you can see optional features you can uh, click on view feature and then over here you can find media feature pack so if you find media feature pack over here try to install it uh, if you don't find it here you can google it search it how to install windows media feature pack in windows 11 and edition and then check restart your computer after this next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so for this for many users even the latest graphic card driver has worked so make sure that you select your graphic card and the operating system and then you can install the latest graphic card driver right now the latest one is 581.29 if, uh, if the rolling like if the previous the older one is not working you can try the latest one and make sure that when you go for installation uh, you have to select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next after the clean installation restart is a must after the system restart launch the game next step is to update the game uh, like when you go to steam if there is any update you can update it or you can restart steam go to steam and exit and then relaunch steam and then check if there is any update you will see now try launching the game multiple times when you launch the game multiple times you will receive this prompt which says uh, restore default settings so if you receive this prompt once you launch the game multiple times if the game is crashing once you receive this click on yes and then try to re, uh, try to launch the game uh, next step is to restart steam which we have already if you have the game on epic games launcher you can uh, go to epic games launcher uh, settings and then you can update epic games launcher and then check next step is to rename the config folder now for this you can go to file explorer go to documents now when you rename the uh, open my games and borderlands 4 saved config now when you rename the config folder all the saved settings will be lost so you can just make a right click and then you can rename it and then you can launch the game if that does not work rename the save game files when you rename the save game files you will lose all the save game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can do this but before that you can create a backup so you can go to documents my games and then here you can see the game folder copy this folder and then you can paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created over here now you can just make a right click and then you can rename it the game will start from scratch and now you can launch the game still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder go to this location uh, select both the exe file select this exe file click on open once added click on it and then over here you select high performance you will see your graphic card again click on add desktop app open this folder binaries win64 select this one and then click on add once it is added again select high performance and then check still not working verify the game file this is important so make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is complete launch the game next step is to run epic games launcher or uh, steam as an administrator so you can if you have the game on steam you can exit steam and then you can type in steam and then make a right click and then you can click on run as administrator so make a right click and then click on run as administrator similarly do the same thing with epic games launcher close it and run as administrator next step is to try dx12 in the launch option make a right click on the game go to properties in the launch option type in dash dx12 now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see visual studio file download this x86 and x64 you have to download both the files x86 and x64 download both the files and then run both the exe file that is x86 now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option hit install click on yes to allow run this x64 file as well again if you see repair click on repair if you see install hit install and after the system restart once done restart your computer now you can relaunch the game still not working the next step is to update your windows so for this you can open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer 
after the system restart you can check next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer which you are not using so if your hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter which you are not using disconnect it disconnect multiple monitors or if you have extra controller connected sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnect it disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor do not overclock if you have overclocked set it to default close all the overclocking application like msi afterburner reward tuner and then check Close all the third-party services or application running on your computer and then remove the undervolt if you have undervolted your computer. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse, uh, sorry, uninstall. After the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.